electrolytic refining copper the electrolytic refining is a process of obtaining of obtaining pure metal of highest purity okay it is a process of obtaining metal of highest purity in case of refining of copper the impure copper metal uh, metal rod is made in order. okay we made impure metal rod as an odd while a thin pure copper metal is made cathode okay this is enough now moreover the question is being asked in the examination that if we are just having purifying copper and we will take copper sulfate as an electrolyte okay we cannot take iron sulfate we cannot take zinc sulfate as an electrolyte we will take if we are just purifying copper then we should take copper sulfate so then the chain will continue keep on moving okay got it from copper sulfate the copper ion should yes, move sir. to the cathode and then new copper ion should be added to the electrolyte so this process keep on moving okay copper ions will come into the electrolyte and then copper ion will move towards the cathode so we will take the solution if we are just purifying silver then we should take silver nitrate as an electrolyte the same metal salt should be taken so here moreover copper sulfate is taken as an electrolyte means their solution should be uh, copper sulfate with a small amount of dilute H2 support. We should add dilute H2 support so that it should increase the conductivity. Okay. Now, while elect when electricity is passed, the Cu2 positive ion from electrolytes move towards the cathode. The Cu2 positive ion will move towards the cathode. Okay. And get deposited and converted into copper solid. This is written like this. Cu2 positive, get two electrons. Okay. While the same amount of copper atoms, copper atoms, from impure, you know, the same amount of copper atoms, not ion, copper atoms get converted into copper ions. Okay, is oxidized because that anode oxidation is taking place, is oxidized to copper ions, CO2 positive ion, in order to maintain the electrical neutrality. Okay, and this is copper at anode, it is going to happen. Okay, and this process remain continue, and this process remain continue. At the end, we get pure copper at cathode. And while impure anode, while the impure anode rod of copper disintegrate, okay, while leaving behind the impurity is called anode. Okay, this will become this, this will vanish. Okay, so note it down. Note it down. So can you read the first line? Yes, electrolytic refining is a process of obtaining pure metal of highest purity. I will check it. Everyone should write. Don't take the screenshot. I will check you copy at the end of the class. Nobody is allowed to write, take the screenshot. Nobody is allowed to take the screenshot, so you have to write it properly, okay? What is written? Process of process of high uh, electrolyte refining is the process of obtaining. Okay, sir. Obtaining pure metals of highest purity. Obtaining pure metal of highest purity. Noted fast. Sir, so can you please read uh, one, two, three, four, fourth line? 
मोर ओवर दिस वन मोर ओवर सी एस ओ फोर इज टेकन एज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट विद स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ डायल्यूट एस्टर फोर एडेड टू इंक्रीज कंडक्टिविटी Mode over CO so four. It is aqueous. AQ means aqueous. It is in water. Okay, so AQ means aqueous. Sir, after like uh, with small amount dilute H two S O four, that is not aqueous. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, you will say it is aqueous. It is also aqueous. Small okay. amount of dilute. Dilute is means it is in water. Dilute word is just means that it is in water. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, do write it fast. So, uh, could you please scroll down? Okay. So, can you scroll down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done, sir. Done, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, can you explain uh, what is 
in order to maintain electrical neutrality of electrolyte means in order to maintain the electro electrical neutrality means for example we were having the co so four negative concentrations is increased when the co2 positive ions are depositing there only the negative negative charge is increasing okay because so4 is going to have minus 2 charge okay so if the more and more concentration of so4 minus 2 will increase so electrical neutrality means the same number of positive and negative charge will be there okay so if we have cu one cu at two positive atom and one cu so4 minus 2 ion so two positive and negative it this this will make the electrolyte neutral positive and negative cancel out each other but if this CO2 positive keep on going there, then there, there will be more and more concentration of SO4 minus 2 ion will be increased. So in order to maintain the same electro electrical neutrality, means same number of negative and positive charge, the copper atoms will get converted into CO2 positive ion. Okay. So from there, the more and more CO2 positive ion will come. And again, the neutrality will be maintained. Okay. Oh, That's right. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, uh, please do it this one. Have you noted this one? Yes, everybody. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, note it fast. Yes, certain. Please note this one also. Done, sir. Done, everyone? Sir? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. In the last line, what, what are you saying? Sir, in the last line. Uh, while the impure anode rod of copper disintegrate, it is leaving, it is leaving, L-E-A-V-I-N-G, okay? Leaving. Not living, okay. Living behind the impurity is called an odd mud. An odd? An odd mud. M U D. Mud. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's start. The uh, let's, let's discuss the important question from this one. Then we shall be starting the governance of our chapter. Okay. So let's discuss the important results. Sorry, important questions from this topic that is being asked in the examination. So that sure. is yes. 
I recently had my BT and like this chapter came metals and non-metals. I got eight out of eight in chemistry. Arey, that's I am teaching you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. In the next chapters, you will also get that one. Thank you. Sir, only last this chapter is, is like very tough. Except that, sir, all the chapters are very easy. Like every chapter is easy. Chapter one to chapter three is very easy, but like last chapter, carbon compounds very tough, sir. No, no, it is not tough. I will. I'm. I'm just. When I will teach you this chapter, then you will see that it is so easy. Okay, don't worry about it. It will be easy. It is interesting. Yes, it is very interesting. I will teach yes, you this. Sir. Then this will be going to be very easy chapter. Okay, don't think that it is tough. No, it is not tough. Actually. I hope. So. I hope. Since we have not studied, this chapter is actually the first chapter that is of organic chemistry, and that you have not studied anywhere uh, before the tenth standard. Okay. So you're going to start this means this in eight nine cent standard you have not studied this one. okay mm -hmm. so that's why it, you will feel a little bit difficult but uh, I'm sure that when I will teach you this one then you will feel that it will be very easy for you okay don't worry about it okay let's have questions that will be asked regarding to this portion. Here we have. Okay. Here, question number 36. Which one is the correct option? Which one of the following correctly describes the figures of electrolytic refining? Tell me which one is the correct one that is Sir, is it option C? Option C. C. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Option C. Yes, option sir. Option C. C. Option C is correct. Why why option A is incorrect? Sir, because uh it's uh, sir, because of the uh, like uh, battery yeah. sign. Because of the battery yeah. sign. Okay, why, why B is incorrect? And where the pure yeah. coppers are going. Yes. Uh, anode is at, uh, it is coming. Okay, it is right. It is going, but the anode part should be uh, near the anode. Anode should, okay, be should be right be. side. Okay, yeah, it should be in right side. Okay, this one is also correct. And this one is correct, but why this is incorrect? Oh. Why the D is incorrect? Why D is incorrect? Uh, sir, because of CU. That anode. CU. Sir, because pure yeah. copper are going to anode. Yes. yes. Okay. So now you understood this one. Yeah. So let's have the other questions from this topic. Okay, question number 39. Why should the copper uh, metals and sulfide carbonate should be converted into the oxide form? Why should they be converted into the oxide form? Like we have copper sulfide, okay? Like we have zinc sulfide, okay? So why we should convert zinc sulfide to ZNO uh, by using uh, roasting? And, okay? and for example, if you're having ca 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 calcium carbonate, CaCO3, so it should be converted uh, into CaO. Uh, so because metals are easy to get from the oxide, like copper. Yeah. Yes, because to it is easier. metals from their oxides instead of sulfides and carbonates. Yes, yes, because it is easier to extract out metal from their oxide form rather than their carbonate and sulfide form. This we have written in the copy. You can check in your notes, okay? Okay, next one is... Okay, this is question number 44. Uh, uh, the reaction is of aluminum powder. Aluminum powder is reacting with this one. You are getting this one. Is aluminium is getting reduced? Tell me, is aluminium is getting reduced or MnO MnO two is getting oxidized? Mn is getting reduced. Uh, so it is a uh, 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 compound. Aluminium is getting oxidized, na? Yes, yes sir. Uh, sir. It is known as a thermite reaction, right? Yeah. Aluminium yeah, yeah. reacts with iron. 
No, 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 no. Uh, this is a aluminothermic process. If it is, if it is instead of MnO2, if it is Fe2O3, then it is a thermite reaction. But this is a reduction of MnO2. Oh, yeah. I have with the help of aluminium. Okay, that we have also done in the copy. You can check it. Okay, now this is addition of oxygen. So aluminium is getting oxidized. Okay, and there is a removal of oxygen is taking MN place. MnO2 is getting reduced. So MnO2 is getting reduced. So this is incorrect. Okay. Okay. I have given you this homework. A lot of questions I have given you from this one. Uh, metals constantly on oxides. This is this is. Question number fifty-three. It is talking about an element. So element can be calcium nitro means it can be calcium carbon or something. But it is an element. Okay, not an not a compound. So A is an element react with water to form a compound B which is used in whitewashing. Which element is used in sir, whitewashing? Sir, it's, uh, yeah, it's calcium carbonate. Calcium? Probably calcium carbonate. A is, what is A? A should be calcium. Yeah, calcium. Because it is an element. It is talking about element. Element the, is calcium. Okay, I guess it's calcium. Okay, so when it reacts with water, it will give you? Yeah. yeah calcium yeah. hydroxide. Okay, and this is, yeah. okay, this calcium hydroxide yeah. is being used in? White washing, okay. Yes, we use it in white washing. Yeah, calcium hydroxide. Okay, okay. we do calcium yeah, hydroxide. Okay, yeah. And when this CO2 positive, see calcium hydroxide, when uh, react with the atmospheric carbon dioxide, then it forms a calcium carbonate layer over it, and this gives you a white uh, shine. Okay, so we do actually we use this one. We do this one. Calcium hydroxide is uh, done on the. Uh, during white washing, but this calcium hydroxide react with the atmospheric carbon dioxide and form a film of or a layer of calcium carbonate. This gives you the white, white, okay, white color because calcium carbonate is fine white, white in color. Okay, now what is being said? A compound B. This is compound B. Okay, on heating forms a oxide. Means when you heat it, calcium hydroxide. Okay. And it is talking when react with water to form a compound B, which is used in whitewashing. Okay. So what is saying here is now when you heat it, when you heat on heating compound B forms a compound. Calcium oxide. Okay. So yes. when you heat it, it will give you calcium oxide plus water or something. Okay. Uh see calcium it's oxide. Treatment with water. Yes, sir. Uh, when you treat it again with water, it will give you again B. Identify A B C D. So you will be able to find out. This is A, this is B, and this is C. Got it? Yes, sir. Give, give the reaction involved in during the extraction of zinc from its ore by roasting. The roasting of zinc ore. So what you will do? While you are roasting. So reaction example. Roasting means, roasting is done for? Uh, ZN plus C, right? Uh, so roasting is done for uh, uh, so what do you say? Which type of ore uh, we do roasting? Rusting, roasting, roasting. Sorry. What sir? For which type of ore we do roasting? Uh, sir, uh, like sulfide ore, sulfide ore, sulfide ore. Sulfide ore. So we will use ZNS plus O two will gives you ZNO plus yes. SO two. Yes. Uh, and here? Yeah. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Calcium. Is... Now, calcination is, calcination is done for carbonate ores. So zinc has two types of ore. Uh, yeah, zinc calcium. sulfide and zinc carbonate. Mm. So when it reacts with, it, it we, we don't react heat it with the presence of oxygen. So there is no uh, added oxygen will be there. So we heat it. It will give you ZNO plus CO2. Okay? You understand? Yes. Okay. A metal M does not liberate hydrogens when react with acids. Okay, a metal M does not liberate hydrogens when react with acids. Uh, react with uh, react with oxygen, but react with oxygen. Okay, and gives a black color uh, product. Okay, so what is M? So when it react with oxygen, it will gives you black uh, color substance. CU. Sir, yes, CU. yes, CU. CU when react with HCl, it, it will not react. 
Yeah. Why it will not react? Because copper is less reactive. It will not be able yes, to displace yeah. hydrogen. But when it react with, when you burn it with, uh, in the presence oxygen, of oxygen, when you heat it, see you, which is black in color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It. So, so what is M? Metal M is M. This is copper. Okay. And explain the reaction. Okay. Give, uh, give, uh, given below the other steps of the extraction of copper from its source, and we have roasting. So you have done this one. You have done this one. Electrolytic refining. So these are the steps. So we have to do this one. Okay. Uh, draw and label need diagrams is being asked. So you need to know that how to make the copper diagram. Okay. The next one is ore of copper is taken. Two ores A and B are taken on heating. On heating A, it gives carbon dioxide. Whereas on heating B, it gives sulfide. What are steps will you take to convert it? Uh, to convert them into metals. Two ores A and B. So on for heating, uh, A, we, uh, uh, for A, we will do like uh, uh, calcination, and for sir B, we will do uh, roasting. Yes. For B, we will do roasting. Okay. And if they are mid reactive yes. metals, if they are mid reactive metals, then they will be separated mid -reactive out. Metals. Then, then they can be easily separated yes. out with the help of. For example, um, like, like if it is um, HDS, For example, mercury and zinc uh, is like. Uh, yes. 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 So when you heat it, it will get converted into HGO uh, yes. and plus SO2. Uh, and when you further HGO, heat it, HGO. And then on further heating. Yes, HGO, it will become HG plus O2. Okay, okay. Other students who are not answering, why, why, uh, uh, Hiba and Karishma, why are you not answering? Sir, I am answering. You are answering. Sir, only two people are answering. Others? Other, Adil? Yes, sir, I was answering. Why? You are answering. And Hiba? Hiba, are you there? Yes, sir. Why are you not answering? Sir? We have studied this chapter as a whole. Uh, yes, sir. I'm just not feeling well. So. Okay. So when you heat it, heat it, it will give. So if you are having sulfide or you can make reactive metals, you will get it. Okay. So when you, or you can write it, uh, first we will convert them into their oxide form by simple carbonate ores into their, uh, by, uh, by calcination. Calcination and by sulfide ore by roasting. Roasting. Okay. And then finally, uh, uh, we when they are converted into their oxide form, then either by a reduction with carbon, okay, or by okay. aluminothermy, aluminothermy, we get uh, the metals, okay, we get we converted into the metal form. Got it? Yes. yes sir. Okay. So either reduction by uh, means finally their oxides are being removed either by heating, simple heating, by reduction with carbon, or by reduction with. Uh, Aluminium, we can be pure metal. Okay, so there are some other questions related to electrolytic refinance. Where is it? Let me check. Aqua regia, you understood what is aqua regia? Aqua regia is, is called royal water. Okay, aqua regia. Yes, royal is, water. Uh, yeah, aqua regia. Uh, Latin, it is a Latin regia. word for. Water. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it is a royal water. Okay, and it is. Yeah, it is a royal water. Aqua regia, and it is mixed prepared by when we are having three is to one ratio of three for SCL concentrated SCL. Okay, and one and for uh, one part of uh, nitric acid. Yeah. Nitric acid and Then the both should be concentrated. If we have having HNO three here and then SCL here, then it ratio will become one is to three. Okay. So the first one is, but it is dilute. No, it should be concentrated. Both should be concentrated. So it is dilute. It should be not. So these two are concentrated, and this is C is correct. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Which it is the one question? of the few. It is one of the few reagents uh, uh, that like that is able to dissolve uh, gold. gold and platinum. Yeah. yeah. Which of the following is not an ionic compound? Which One and ionic? three. Uh, three. Sir, three. Uh, th three, sir. Three, three. CCL4. Calcium C chloride, four. CCL4 and HCL is also not an ionic compound. Yes, sir. 
hydrogen is is going to have uh, okay so this is if hydrogen give its electron to its one it will comes zero zero is not a stable it need two electrons in its atomic shell okay so it will not yes. donate donate its electron it will share and sharing bond is called covalent bond okay it is not an ionic bond so it will share in order to have duplet two electrons so see carbon okay between non metal non metal we generally have the ionic compound sorry covalent bond okay this is not an ionic Okay, question number uh, question number 10. Do metals are refined by using different metals. Which of the following method metals are refined by electrolyte refining? Mm. So, copper, copper. But there are more than one options, are there? Na? And yeah, 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 yeah. Copper and sodium. Copper and sodium. Yes, no. Copper and gold. Sorry, copper, copper and uh, yeah, copper and gold. One and two. Okay, why? Because these are the least reactive metals are being pure. Na? Sodium is very reactive, very highly reactive metal. Okay. Not right? Yes. So it, yes, will, it will yes, it yes. will okay. So this copper and gold are used for, for purifying the precious metals. Okay. Like we have uh, silver articles. Silver articles become black in color when they are uh, exposed to. Okay, do we have, uh, we have uh, not done the alloys now? So we have not done the alloys. Sir, AG2S, AG2S, AG2S. AG2S. Okay, AG2S is the correct. Because it is black in color. 2S. Okay, we have not discovered uh, the color. Zero, zero. color. Zero. Okay, which is of question number 18? So in the next class, I will take uh, yeah. Sir, uh, uh, sir, uh, so, uh, sir, sodium and uh, and iron. No, sorry, sodium and calcium. B, uh, calcium and uh, Cu. In molten state. Uh, sir, I guess sodium and uh, okay, sodium and copper. Sodium and copper. Electro electrolysis of uh, molten. These the following metals are yeah. are obtained by electrolysis of their chlorides in their molten form. Oh, so we have we have sodium first of all. Is, 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 no, 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 no. In their and molten right. form. NaCl okay. and uh, uh, yes, sir. Is there one and two? One and two. Yes, the most reactive metals are obtained by electrolytic refining. Electrolytes. Okay. This, this okay. copper and iron made reactive metals. Okay. Not it. Yeah. These are the made reactive metals, so they are not. Calcium and iodine. Iodine. Nineteen is iodine. Nineteen is iodine. Yes. Iodine is a non-metal which is shiny. Okay. Now we are talking about the alloys. Let's talk about the alloys. We have five minutes. What are alloys that means meaning? Alloys are the homogeneous mixtures of two or more metals or non-metals. Okay. Alloys, note it down. Alloys are the homogeneous mixtures. Alloys are the homogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures. Mixtures of two or more. More. Metals and two or more metals and metals and non metals. Okay, two or more metals and metals. So we, and uh, we not do corrosion, non metals. Okay, what are you saying? Yeah, uh, uh, we will not do corrosion. We will we will study the corrosion also. We will study the corrosion also. We have done that one. We will study that one. Okay, in the next class, I think we are just complete. But I need in the next class, I will take the test of this one of this chapter that we have studied. Oral test I will take, and the yes. marks will be given to your parents. And moreover, yes, I will teach you the alloys as well as the corrosion. These two parts will going to be, it will take fifteen minutes. Okay. okay, and then test, and then half an hour we will we will study the carbon compound chapter. Okay.
so okay, alloys are the homogeneous mixtures of two or more alloy uh, metals and non metals okay like we have only metals metals like uh, brass brass is copper and copper and zinc and zinc, zinc. copper and okay? zinc zinc like and, we have uh, bronze. bronze bronze is copper and tin copper and tin copper yes. and tin okay and uh, the solder yeah. and then solder lead and uh, zinc and uh, Lead and tin. Yeah, lead and uh, sorry, lead and tin. Tin. Okay. Yeah, so and we'll, we'll give um, you this one, okay? Uh, amalgam, amalgam. Sir, mercury. What is amalgam? Amalgams are the alloys in which one of the mm. constituent is mercury, okay? Amalgam. Yeah. Amalgams mercury, are the alloys. And uh, mercury and anything like mercury and sodium is sodium amalgam. Like mercury and copper is copper amalgam. Okay, so amalgams are the alloys in which one of the constituent is mercury. Okay, so amalgam. Are the are the alloys in which in which one of the constituent is mercury? One of the constituent is mercury. Is mercury okay? So it will be asked in the examination that if one of the constituent is mercury, then it is amalgam. Okay. Ferrous alloys are those in which one of the constituent is iron. Okay. So, and why we make alloys? There's one more class. Is there. So, we'll take this one. So, that's all for today. We'll meet you in the next class. Okay. And we'll discuss. Uh, sir, alloys the... are made because, first of all, uh, they are like, uh, they have higher uh, higher resistivity compared to metals. And secondly. Yes, yes, yes. Depending they... on the, depending on the nature, that the type of metal we need. If we need yeah. a strong metal, if we have, we want to, Make it lighter, but its strength, but the strength should be there. So depending on the needs, we made it. Okay. So yes, that's. Sir. And secondly, sir, uh, they and they do not uh they do not get oxidized easily. Compared. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are right. So in the next class, we will discuss this one. Okay. So that's all for today. So you people can leave this one because we are just going to have another class. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. So just one second, I'm noting this down. Okay, okay. Yes. Arya, how are you? Uh good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Nabila and Zed. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Okay. So Let's, we were studying the, uh, today we're going to start the new chapter that is, we were studying the metals, sorry, we were studying atoms and molecules in the, uh, uh, in your batch, okay, we'll give you the backup for this one, but the batch is going to have, in this batch we're going to study, okay, along with two new students, two other students, that we're going to study the uh, atoms and molecules, we have finished in this one, but we'll give you the backup of that chapter, okay.